Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel Physics Sergi and here we are in Olympiad workout series and target IOQ. Uh, this is a problem from the old Olympiad and it's about a car taking a turn and you could see the top view of the car in the thumbnail that I'm showing right now. And we are supposed to find out under a certain condition of Ackerman steering mechanism, I'll explain what it is, right? That is the case of no slip for the car tire sideways. Uh, the dimensions of the car are given. The D is the distance between the front wheels and the back wheels. And L is the distance between the two wheels, either rear or front. Okay, so the car taking a left turn, as you could see, makes certain angles and you're supposed to find a relation between them. So here's the formal wording of the question. And during the question, I'll try to explain what the Ackerman steering mechanism is all about. And also give you some facts about an anti-Ackerman steering also. And what is the steering that is used in normal day, day to day life cars and the F1 racing cars. And also at the end of the uh, video, I would give you a practice problem. So please do stay till the end of the video. Okay, so here's the formal wording of the question. You want to give it a try, pause the video, read the question on your own and give it a try and come back to the solution and the explanation that I'm going to give. Okay, so here we go. For a car's tires to wear as little as possible, the car should be built so that the front wheels would turn by a different angle on a curve as compared to the uh, uh, each other. Okay, so the left wheel is making an angle alpha with the horizontal line joining the two tire centers and the right wheel is making an angle beta. So these are two different values that he is talking about. So find the relation between these angles alpha and beta in the picture and the dimensions L and D. Okay, so that's the question. So the idea of an uh, Ackerman steering mechanism is that the geometry of these wheel and axle system should be such that the entire car, when it is taking, let's say in this picture, taking a left turn in the top view should not slide radially outwards. Okay, right. So, or radially inwards for that matter. So that sideways uh, slipping to avoid, you need to be able to, in this plane of the diagram, find a, a perfect center of the entire body. That means uh, ICR, instantaneous center of rotation and you could see that if the velocity of this tire is this way you can draw a line perpendicular to that and velocity of this tire is this way which is making a different angle with this velocity then the line joining the two should be reported as the ICR of that particular system so that you can actually calculate the velocity of each and every point so it's almost as if this object is pivoting about an imaginary center here so that there is no sideways slipping so that's the idea of Ackermann's principle which is used in day-to-day -day life cars where you don't want to go too fast and don't want to uh, cause wear and tear in the uh, tires okay so if you draw the picture with some geometry shown onto it so our job is to find that uh, relation so this is a left turn top view and i marked a x for my convenience which is the distance of the icr from this tire and you could see some uh, right angle triangles here the bigger one is this one can you see that here right in that right angle triangle you could say cot beta is given by x plus l by d and there is a smaller right angle triangle with a bigger angle alpha like this can you see that there the x value which is this one should be d cot alpha so you can eliminate x by subtracting these two and directly get the value of the distance between the two tires is equal to capital d which is distance between the front and rear tires multiplied by the difference of cot of the angles okay so i could see in this ackerman steering mechanism the if you're taking a left turn the left left uh, tire should turn by a greater angle as compared to the right tire okay so that's the idea that we need to go ahead with now food for thought right is there is something called as anti ackerman steering also which is used at times in f1 cars okay so what is that anti ackerman steering and why is it used in f1 cars what's the advantage of it or disadvantages if you use it in normal cars try to find out and comment below in the comment section okay so it will be nice uh, impetus for your preparation towards ioq okay and the practice problem is from the Pathfinder solution series, and I'll be giving the solution of this after giving you sufficient time to solve this. So this is from challenge your understanding in rotation chapter, question number four. You could see the bicycle of uh, is being driven uh, using this Ackerman steering mechanism, where uh, in the top view, you could see that there is a center of rotation for that. Only difference is the question is slightly of higher level where he's going to talk about the minimum coefficient of friction that is required to do so, okay? so. Uh, try this one out. Now, I think after giving you the idea of Ackerman steering, this should be a cakewalk for you. Okay, so um, 
in case you have liked this particular video please do try out the rest of the other series that are going in this particular channel olympiad workout series along with the other series that you could see on this particular uh, screen uh, there are very many informative videos more than 150 of them so in case you are new try to play the videos uh, one after another maybe three or four per day and you would be um, definitely gaining a lot of information before your uh, february uh, olympiad examination and also for the je in the uh, later stages of the Year. okay so and please do like the video and share it with your friends and help me gain subscribers to this channel and uh, that would give me extra motivation to keep working towards providing quality content for you and i hope i don't disappoint you in the next video and you are with me in the next one thank you see you in the next one